Sorry, the, the, the memory ran out. So anyways, so the water flows inside and goes through the water jackets. These freeze bugs are so if in case that you forget to winter as in, as you can tell, there's another freeze bug right here. And that one is not a freeze bug. That one is actually for the camshaft. And so they're actually that color because of the water, like I said. So anyways, the, the water pump pushes the water in there. It goes through the water jackets. Then there's some holes in between the heads and the block and the water flows up. And once it flows up, it has to go somewhere. So that somewhere is right here. So the water just keeps flowing. So that's how the water pump works. The water system inside of it, it just keeps going round and round. So the question is, well, I don't think I covered this, but why, why would you want that? Why not just, how can I put this? Okay, so I'm gonna do a follow, I'm doing a follow up video on terms of the thermostat, only because I think it needs a little bit of clarification. And also because I have a really good story in terms of that. So story time, story time. And so anyway, so here we have the image of what is the thermostat, what is its purpose. So you've probably seen videos, but this is another angle in terms of what a thermostat is, right? And so here we have a picture of where the car, you're starting it from cold. So this is in the morning, and as you can see, it ramps up. Like right here, as the ramping up, as it goes, the thermostat is what's called closed. And so... What does it mean when a, when I'm, when it is when they say the thermostat is closed? Basically, the water is just circulating inside of the engine, and so it goes from the block to the to the water jackets, back up to the heads, and then backs out to the water pump to the thermostat housing, and then it just goes back inside the water pump. It it just keeps circling and circling. So. The water it gets hotter and hotter and hotter now what what is the purpose of a thermostat well like I explained before um, the, the, the engine works at a certain temperature it's the most efficient and like I said before you know it pollutes the less the car gets more miles to the gallon etc etc and so what you want to do is you want to get that temperature as fast as possible and as soon as possible you want to get that engine to that temperature that ideal temperature as fast as possible and as soon as possible so that's why when you start the engine in the morning that's why the thermostat which it's, it's what's called closed and so the water just circulates but as you can see from this graph you know the water can't it can't stay closed like eventually it has to open because if you allow it to stay open then this ramp that you see right here, it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And actually, and it, it reaches a point where that the, the heat that's generated by the engine, it can destroy, destroy the engine. And so you want it to get to a certain temperature. You want it to get it ASAP. But once you reach that temperature, you want to stay at that temperature, right? And so that's what this image kind of shows. And so um, here, so in from what is it like? Before it's sitting idling, the engine is actually, it's, like it says right here, it's going 50 miles an hour. And so, again, the engine, it's warming up. As soon as it reaches a certain temperature threshold, bam, the thermostat is no longer stuck open, not no longer closed. Now it's open, right? And so as soon as it opens, uh, not only does hot water exit the engine, but cold water enters the engine. So it's kind of like a double whammy. So the engine right away gets cold, boom, right away, poof. You know, the, the temperature of the engine goes, um, it cools down. And so right there, the, 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 the temperature is kind of stable. And so the thermostat tries to keep it from, from here to here to the sitting island. The thermostat ain't exactly, it's not fully open, but obviously it's not closed. It's somewhere in between states, right? And so depending on the load of the engine, if, 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 if you rev it high, then the engine starts getting hotter. And so the thermostat opens a little bit more, allowing more fresh air. But anyways, um, and so right here now, and this image is a little bit different, right? But still, you know, it, a car engine and a boat engine is the same thing. So let's use this as an example. So, and, and the reason why I'm covering this is because like I said, many, 
uh, mechanics or maybe even hobbyists are going to find confusion in this. And so when the car is actually rolling at 50 miles an hour, as you can see, the fan, it doesn't show it, but it shows it right here, fan starts. The fan is off. The fan is off. The question is, why is the fan off if the car is running at 50 miles an hour? Well, this is a surprise to a lot of people, but when an engine, again, I'm going to go to the car engine because to understand the boat, you kind of have, especially most people are coming from car mechanics and they're trying to transition to boat. And so it's just to help the transition. And so it turns out that when you're on the freeway, there's so much air going in to the to the car, to the front of the grill, to the radiator, so much air is passing through it that there's not really a need for a fan. Does that surprise a lot of people? The fan is actually only needed, needed in city driving. Stop and go where there's not a lot of air going into the radiator and cooling down the water. But if you're on the highway, the freeway, whatever you want to call it, higher than 50 miles an hour, that fan is off. In fact, it's off, and I would like to tell you guys a story. So, story time, you know, less than five minutes. But it's interesting because I remember when I was 18, me and my friend, we went to, I think, Missouri. How did it happen? I do not know, right? Because I know that the radiator is in the front, then you have the fan, then you have the engine. Somehow you ran over a deer head, <laughs> and the antler poked at the fan, and it broke the fan. So, again, why would a head of a deer be on the road but it was on the road and so it broke the fan i remember my friend he was all worried because the engine the car was semi-new at the time and he said we're stuck in the middle of the road you know and back then there was no cell phone and i remember i told him you know just keep rolling the car it's like no it's gonna break the fan broke and i'm like dude you can keep going you know the fan and i explained it to him he he didn't believe it i'm like yeah if we're on the freeway don't even worry about it. let's just take it off and so he took off the fan and he still didn't believe it. And I was like, look, if the engine breaks, I'll buy you a new engine. I don't even know why I said that because I didn't even have the money to buy it. But I just said it. And so we went on our, we, we went on our merry way. And like three hours later, we actually reached our destination. And so he, of course, he looked at me puzzled. And he's like, I want clarification on this. And I told him, it's like, when you're going on the highway, the fan doesn't, you don't even need the fan. You can take it off. And this goes to any car, you know, you can take off the fan and if you're going on the freeway, as long as you're on the freeway, you don't need it. But once you hit that city and the temperature starts going up and there's no air going into that radio, then you need the fan. So, yeah, interesting story. So anyways, so here, that's what we have in this graph here. Now we have from ideal sitting idling. That's when the fan, when the temperature, can you see that the temperature starts going up again? That's because there's no air going into the radiator. And so now that's when the engine starts heating up. And so after a certain threshold, now the fan kicks in. And the fan, because now it's going, water's going, air is going into the radiator. Now the, the radiator, the, the engine starts cooling down. So water starts, the, the, the fan starts cooling the water inside of the radiator. And now the radiator, whenever the, the thermostat opens, now it's actually cool water going into the engine and hot water exiting so now we have that cooling effect but then if you leave the fan on there reaches a point where the water is too cool and so now the fan stops and so now the water starts again heating up again going back up but then again we go through a cycle again now the fan stops and so that's how and 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 the second time you know it stops and let me see the Yes, yeah, so we're seeing it. The last time, you know, the water, it starts, it's, the fan stops and the water starts climbing up again. But that's when we start rolling again at 50 miles an hour. And again, air is going through the radiator and that's why you have that cooling effect. And so now the fan stops. And so anyways, and so, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but there's some even back in old days, like in my occasion, I, I remember my dad used to take off the, the, the thermostat from the cars. And um, and that was funny because um, if you take off the <laughs> thermostat, the temperature actually starts going down. And so, yeah, your car will never overheat, but it's never going to be running at idle, temp at idle, idle temperature. Like, it's going to be too cold. The engine's going to be too cold because there's 
basically the water is going to be flowing through the radiator and it's always going to be cooling it and so uh the consequence of those at that time was that the 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 heater didn't work and so every time at that unknowingly he would remove the thermostat but what he didn't realize was that he was causing the radiator not to not the heater not to work and so during the winter we would always freeze our butts off <laughs> so don't do that you know so don't remove the thermostat leave the thermostat on and i just wanted an explanation of this and another thing is um so depending the thermostat can actually break in one of their, one of two ways it's either stuck open or stuck closed so if it's stuck closed then basically during when you start it up the temperature just keeps going up and up and up and up and it doesn't stop you know that's where you can damage the engine permanently but if it's stuck open then essentially the temperature doesn't reach at its ideal point so it just kind of rolls off into a certain point you know just sat saturates right there so it's too cold the engine is too cold and that also has its problems its consequences so you want it ideal so the thermostat again uh to rehash the thermostat causes this ramp to go up as fast as possible the slope is as steep as possible because that's what you want you want the temperature to heat up but once it once uh, the temperature of the water temperature of the engine gets to a certain point then the thermostat opens and it finally lets water cold water go in right and the hot water exit and so it's a little i know i understand it's a little bit different from from a, a boat because the boat grabs the water the cold water from the lake you know so it's grabbing the water and that water has to be cold so there's no need for a fan there's no need for a radiator you know the water is already cold it just sucks up the water from the from its surroundings and that's the cold water but it expels the hot water so i'm going to be covering that in another video in terms of um um what is it oh wow 25 minutes in terms of um the thermostat wow damn how time flies i can't believe i've been talking for 25 minutes <laughs> anyways um so it's a little bit different i understand it's a little bit different but still it's the same thing the radiator the thermostat grabs the water opens up and it lets cool water in and hot water exit and the same amount of water that's exiting the boat the engine the boat it's the same amount of water that's coming in that's why the two hoses that are in the thermostat housing they're the same diameter they have to be because the same amount that's exiting has to enter right so that's just the common sense and so let me see what else am i missing yeah so if it's stuck open stuck closed what the purpose of the thermostat is so anyways so hopefully you learned about the thermostat what its purpose is you know don't omit it please put it in and what happens if the engine is overheating or or if it's too cold not efficient you know hopefully the thermostat shows it so anyways thank you and again bye